Welcome to my recap. Here we see that Lucille arrives at the Healer's Guild to renew his membership where he meets Kururu who is pissed about not finding any new help since Monica left the Guild to develop a plot with Haru which had increased her workload. However, the Guild is unusually empty, and he wonders why she's being so annoying. He then gives her his card to renew his membership. After checking his card she's surprised to see his improved levels and he explains to her about the training he was undergoing for the past year which made him level up, but it didn't help him in becoming a man. She concludes that he must be a weirdo or masochist to undergo such training but he mentions that he wanted to improve his self-defense so that he doesn't get wasted. She mentions that his rank can be raised to C. However by doing this, his membership will become more expensive but he would be able to buy a spell book using which he can learn different healing attributes of rank C, D, E, and F. She mentions that it will cost him 90 silver coins, and Lucille's souls leave his body. After looking at the coin he has, he realizes that he would need to find a job but just then Broad arrives and drops a bag filled with money. He hires Lucille for another year and also offers to pay him wages. He wants Lucille to become a regular resident of their guild and wants him to train at the guild. Kururu is worried but he assures her about Broad and accepts the offer to become his playmate. Lucille is back at the guild where he's already being teased for coming back so soon. He also got the new spell book which he hopes to learn within a year. Broad arrives and invites him to dinner where he receives a surprise welcome party on becoming the temporary employee of the guild. Gulgar welcomes him with some substance X, and the smell makes everyone step back. I wonder if Broad's dump is the secret ingredient to substance X, making it smell bad and yet effective for Lucille. Being the true masochist, Lucille toasts to everyone and drinks it, but after that, he's avoided by everyone due to the bad smell. Bazan approaches him and asks him if he's gay, to clear the misunderstanding of the viewers who are still conflicted with his preference. Bazan mentions that he's always training with Broad and has never hit on any of the guild girls making him curious. However, he clears it that he is into girls, and they invite him to a special place to make him a man. As Lucille gets excited by the thought of it, they are interrupted by Monica, and he wonders if she heard their conversation, but she just wanted to inquire about the healer's guild and mentions that she's enjoying her time here, and thanks him again for saving her. Lucille tries to make a move on her but suddenly controls himself making things awkward, while Bazan and his men wonder if Lucille's Excalibur will ever penetrate the glory wall. Meanwhile, we see some men reporting to their master that their income and slave trade have been halved over the last year due to a healer in the Adventurer's Guild. The next day, we see an old fat guy in noble clothes looking for Lucille. He finds him and introduces himself as Batakwili, the head of the strongest clinic in Maritoni. He demands Lucille to leave the guild for his clinic, but Lucille refuses, leading to an argument. Lucille tricks him into revealing his treatment and charges, where it's revealed that he uses a high-level recovery magic for all the patients, irrespective of their condition, and charges them 30 gold coin. He inquires about patient who couldn't afford the treatment but Batakwili mentions it as their secret, and Lucille exposes his slave trading business. He also points out that he is extorting his patients by casting high-level magic for cases that could be cured with normal or mid-level healing magic. Things escalate, and Batakwili orders his men to kill him, but just then Broad arrives and restrains his men. He threatens to investigate his business practices, and Batakwili gets scared off. Lucille expresses his gratitude to Broad and mentions that he feels that Batakwili may have been a good person in the past, but greed has corrupted him. Later Broad reveals to Lucille that Batakwili may be still after him, so he shifts Lucille's training to Spartan training with an increased dose of his dump, I meant the substance X. After that, we see that Lucille is getting hard, sorry, I meant he is training hard, and gets up even after he is beaten down which earns him the nickname Masozombie. Monica mentions about the increase in training participants, drawn by his example. Broad intends to build Lucille's physical foundation for combat, so he asks him to cast a barrier on himself and makes a surprise move on him, throwing him to the ground but he remains unharmed. He asks him to gear up with the sword and shield, 
and mentions that from now onwards he will be trained as his slave, I meant he will be his apprentice and has to call him master. He also forbids him from looking at his status, mentioning that it will cause him to lose focus on becoming powerful. From then onwards, Lucille works hard to improve his skills, following the various training routines set by Broad. Meanwhile, Bataquili is pissed by Lucille's low treatment charges, and writes a false complaint to the Healers Guild about the high price Lucille is charging, and requests his transfer. He's confident about his plan, and lets out a cringy evil laugh. This is where the video ends, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.